Hello everyone. We will continue the topic data migration using business object method of LSMW. And in the previous video, we finished the first two steps. Now we will move on to third step. What is third step? Define source fields. In the previous step, we gave the name to the source structure. This is the name we gave to the source structure. Now, in the third step, we need to give the field or columns in the source structure. You all know we have two columns in the source structure. Our file has two columns, employee ID, employee name. So, our source structure has how many columns? Two columns, employee ID, employee name. So, I'll just pass these two things. I will go to the function module which we created and I will pass it from there. What is the first column? Employee ID. Now how you can give the columns here? Put the cursor on the structure. Click on to create button. Create field. What is first field name? EID means employee ID. Suppose label is employee ID. Suppose employee ID length is 10, length is 10 and what is the data type? Numeric. The data type is numeric. Okay. Now first column added. Now do not put the cursor here. If you will put the cursor here and add the next column, Employee name will be above employee ID. Suppose if I will put the cursor here and I will click on to create field button. What is my second column? Employee name, E name. I will give the label. Employee name. Length is 40. Yes, length is 40. And type is character. Now you can see employee name is coming above employee ID, but this is not our case. What is the sequence in the file? The file employee ID is first, then we have employee name. So if you will go by this way, this employee name will be above employee ID. So what you can do in that case, put the cursor on the first column, then add the second column. If you have third column, put the cursor on second column, then add the third column. So I'll put the cursor on the first column. I will click on to create field button. Employee name. I will pass the label. Employee name. Length is 40. Okay. Now two columns added in the source structure. I will say. Now just think this is one way you added the columns one by one. Just think. In the real project, sometimes we have 150, 200, 300 columns in the source structure. Then if you will go one by one, how much time it will consume? So SAP provided a shortcut also. So whenever you are working, whenever you have so many columns, always, always prefer that way. Suppose in this case, we have two columns. So we added the column one by one. It's okay. But if you have so many columns, this approach is very time consuming. So what is the shortcut to add all these things? Firstly, suppose delete, I will delete these things, whatever I added. So what is the shortcut? Put the cursor on the source structure, source fields, copy fields, copy from data repository. Now, you already created a structure which has two columns, employee ID, employee name. Pass this structure there. Whenever you will pass the structure here, whatever the columns are in this structure, it will come automatically there. So always, always use this shortcut. You can see two columns came automatically. So it is very useful whenever we have so many columns in the source structure. Now I will save. So our third step is over. 
we defined the two columns in the source structure or two fields in the source structure. Now I will come on to fourth step. Fourth step is very, very important. I will just continue, execute. I will go to change mode. In the fourth step, I will not do anything. I will simply, simply say, but we will understand this step fully. What is this? This is the name of your source structure. In the second step, what the name you gave to the source structure? This is the name you gave to the source structure. Now, whatever the name you gave to the source structure, arrow, just see arrow direction. Arrow direction is going to this particular structure, this particular structure. Now, just remember, what is this? This is your segment type. This is your segment type, which created at that point of time during PDBG transaction code. If I will go to PDBG transaction code, extremely important point. If I will show you, I will display the interface. This is the segment type created at that point of time. And I told you, that BAPI were replaced by one BP. If I will click on to the segment, if I will go to the segment, segment has how many columns? Employee ID, employee name. So whatever is in the source structure, you are passing, you are passing to that particular segment. Means employee ID will go to employee ID. Employee name will go to employee name. And if you remember, we discussed the definition also of the segment. Segment will store the data, will store the data. So if we have employee ID 1, we are passing the employee ID 1. We have employee name Rahul, we are passing employee name Rahul. Once we will go to next step, this step will give you 100% clarity. Now, what is the meaning of this step? Whatever is coming from the legacy, whatever is coming from the legacy, you are passing it to segment. You are passing it to segment. Now we will simply, simply save this. I will go to next step and next step, you will be more, more clarity of the fourth step. Define field mapping in the fourth step. We just define the relationship between the structures, two structure, source structure and our segment. Now we will go for one by one mapping. I will go for execute. Now you can see two columns came automatically employee ID, employee name. In this segment, we have how many columns? Two columns, employee ID, employee name. Now we will bind the individual columns. It is field by field mapping. I'll put the cursor here. I will click on to source field. And it is clearly saying you want to bind employee ID to the source structure of employee ID. Yes. You want to bind employee name with the source structure of employee name. Now I will save. Once I will double click, you will 100% understand what is the meaning. If I will double click, you can see what the code is written. Whatever is coming from the legacy, you are passing it to segment employee ID. Whatever the employee ID is coming from the file, you are passing it to segment employee ID. Whatever is coming from the Whatever is coming from the legacy name, employee name, you are passing it to segment employee name. So this is one by one field by field mapping. Now, again, most important point. Suppose we have 100 columns in the source structure. It means our segment also has 100 columns. If you will go one by one mapping, one by one mapping, it will take too much time. Now, SAP provided a shortcut also. Here we have two columns, so it's okay. You can go for one by one mapping. But if you have so many columns, all SAP provided a shortcut. So prefer that shortcut. 
suppose as of now suppose i will delete and i will show the shortcut yes i want to delete i want to delete and i will show you shortcut you can go to you extras sorry you can go to extras auto field mapping you can go for okay and it is clearly saying whatever the source employee id you want to bind it to segment employee id yes accept proposal whatever is the source employee name you are passing it to segment employee name accept proposal done and have you seen automatically that done so whenever you have so many columns always prefer this shortcut because it will make our task easy so what is the summary of the video what we studied in this particular video we finished three steps in this video define source field we defined the fields or columns in the source structure and we have a shortcut also or you can go by one by one mapping next is define structure relation we define the or we define the mapping between the legacy structure means our file legacy structure and our segment and our segment in the next step we define the one by one mapping fourth and fifth step is extremely important in the fourth step you define the mapping between the whole structures in the fifth step you define the field by field mapping means suppose if we have 10 columns here if we have 10 columns in the source structure you define the one by one mapping and again we have a shortcut you can go one by one or you can go for a shortcut we have a shortcut of auto field mapping so that's it in this video in the next video we will go for the next steps of lsm thank you